Okay, so now that you know how to log in and create a new shape or a new model, uh, let's take a look at how you actually go about using using Tinkercad's uh, features here. So we're going to look at some basic navigation tools as well as um, just how to get the, the, the shapes onto your work plane. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to just bring out a cube if you'll take a look on the right hand side, one of the shapes that's available is a box. So if I click once on the box, it automatically um, selects that box. And I'm not even holding my mouse button at this point. I'm just moving it around the screen. And then when I click the mouse button one more time, it lets it go and drops it onto the work plane. And notice how it, by default it drops it flat onto the surface. Okay. So in terms of moving around, there are, as I mentioned in the last video, you can use this tool here to navigate left, right, top and bottom, bird's eye view, things like that. But I actually find it easier to just use my mouse. And so while my left mouse selects an item and allows me to move it around, my right mouse button if I hold it down, it allows me to move and rotate around the actual object. So again, that's the right mouse button. Okay. And in our class, we use a three button mouse so that it has a right button, a left button, and then it's got a scroll wheel in the middle. And so what the scroll wheel does is if I were to scroll forward and backward, it moves me in and out. And if I were to push down on the scroll button, it actually does this. And this is called panning. It allows me to pan from left to right. And you'll find that rotating around an object and panning objects and scrolling in and out become very handy. Once you're familiar with using all three of those features, uh, you're going to be that much more expert in terms of getting around to the, uh, to the different areas of the, of the object. Um, I do want to cover within our navigation uh, what you'll see here in the right hand side panel is there's a there's a this is called these are called basic shapes and honestly most of your building can be done from these but there's not just basic shapes there's actually some more uh, different types of special shapes that you can add to your library as well um, and so at your own time you should explore these different uh, these different types of shapes, including shape generators uh, that do some pretty special stuff. So um, there is one last thing I do want to make note of, and that's your favorites. This favorites area is uh, for you to define what shapes you'll use most often. So right now, if I click on favorites, I don't have any. But if I go back to my basic shapes, and let's say this one, which is one that I actually do bring quite often, if I would like to add it to my favorites, I just click on the star that appears right next to it. And I use this one a lot too. So I'm just gonna hit those two. And then when I go to switch to favorite shapes, these two will show up by themselves. So that's a quick way to uh, navigate to the ones that you use most often.